Mr. Duff, the science buff. Mr. Duff, the science buff. Duff, 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 duff. Mr. Duff, the science buff. Science rules. Mr. Duff, the science buff. Inertia is a property of modern. Duff, 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 duff. Mr. Duff, the science buff. Hello, this is a mullet. These gills on the side of the mullet are a physical adaptation that allow it to take the oxygen out of water in the Gulf of Mexico. Very efficient. You know the best way to uh, communicate with a fish is to drop the line. Today we're going to explore Navarre Beach, so I won't need him. Welcome to Mr. Duff the Science Buff goes to the beach. Remember, you don't need Bill Nye the Science Guy when you got Mr. Duff the Science Buff. Are you ready to go explore Navarre Beach? We are currently on Navarre Beach Fishing Pier. This pier is the longest pier in Mexico. It is 1,445 feet long. Now, my steps are about a yard. That's three feet. I wonder how many yards this pier is long. Well, 1,545 divided by three is 515 yards. So it appears we got a long way to go on uh, to get off this pier. So let's go explore beautiful Navarre Beach. This is Navarre Beach Turtle Rehabilitation Center located on beautiful Navarre Beach, home to Sweet Pea. And they rehabilitate sea turtles here. Over here, we have a model, a model of a sea turtle. Now, scientists like to use models because it's easier to build a model than to have uh, something, for example, a big live sea turtle or uh, a rocket ship or an aircraft carrier built. Scientists use models so uh, they can save money and time on a smaller version, or in this case, a larger version. That's a Luna, the leatherback. That's a type of sea turtle from the Gulf of Mexico. Now over here, we have a tortoise. Guys, um, understand a tortoise lives on land, and uh, turtle, sea turtles live in the, the sea. Now, I not don't know the name of this tortoise. This is Safari, a tortoise. Did you know a, many tortoises can live up to 200 years? You might say, why is that? That's because they have a very slow metabolic rate. So remember, tortoises on land, turtles turtles in water. Let's go visit Sweet Pea in the rehab center. This is Mr. Duff, the science buff, out here in the bar beach at the Turtle Rehab Center. We have our uh, star turtle named Sweet Pea, which is a green sea turtle. Uh, if you notice the paddle-like fins, is a physical adaptation to help Sweet Pea uh, swim. Sweet Pea also has a, a shell, right? That shell is not an exoskeleton. Sweet Pea's shell is uh, it has a, it has an internal bone structure, so the shell is not an exoskeleton. It's kind of like our skull. Now we got to take care of our turtle friends because they're endangered and threatened, and if they go extinct, we'll never have them again. So make sure you take care of your turtle friends. What do you get if you mix a porcupine with a turtle? It's a slow poke. erodes sand from different location and then it deposits it in these dunes. The dunes are held in place by a very good friend of ours. It, these are called sea oats. Sea oats are a grass. The roots go down uh, 10 to 20 feet and they help stabilize uh, the dune. If a big tidal surge comes from a hurricane out in the Gulf, these dunes will help keep the sand in place and protect the inland areas and protect this barrier island from the damaging uh, water from the storm surge. Sea oats are our friends. See off in the distance, beautiful Santa Rosa Sound. Again, we're on a barrier island called Santa Rosa Island, which is about 50 miles long on the panhandle of Florida. Over here, you can look at these beautiful dunes and look what we got here. Is that a yellow brick road? 
Well, that's another story. This is the beautiful Gulf of Mexico. The Gulf of Mexico is filled with hydrogen and oxygen. You remember H2O. Did you know that the Gulf of Mexico is a type of mixture? It is a mixture called a solution. That water out there is about 70 degrees Fahrenheit. But you know in science, we use Celsius. And that H2O is about 45 degrees Celsius. As I mentioned, that water is 70 degrees. That water in the Gulf has a lot of thermal energy. That thermal energy helps keep us a little warmer inland during the winter because the late heat in the Gulf called thermal energy keeps us a little warmer. So when it gets real cold inland, the Gulf is warmer. If you live by the coast, it moderates our weather. See those waves out there? between a land breeze and a sea breeze. Currently, we have a sea breeze. You notice the paper is going towards the mainland. That means it is warmer over in the inland area than the Gulf is. So the hot air over inland is rising. The cooler air over the Gulf, because like I said, it's 70 degrees, is blowing in to fill that low pressure that is created when the uh, warm air rises. A land breeze, on the other hand, is when the land cools off at night, the Gulf with its thermal energy stays warmer and the air wants to rush out to sea. That's why it's usually warmer the beach than inland at night because the thermal energy in the Gulf keeps it warm. Do you see that sandpiper? You notice it has a beak? What kind of physical adaptation is that? Hey, wanna hear a joke? What do you, uh, what does a bird do when it's sick? It gets a treatment. This sand is out sandy. It is, this mineral is called quartz. It's a naturally occurring compound. Mother nature created this. Where did it come from? It came from the mountains of Georgia and Tennessee and North Carolina. Weathering and erosion carried it down the rivers and ended up in the Gulf of Mexico where it was deposited on Santa Rosa Island. That's called deposition. Again, this is a mineral called quartz. It's crystalline quartz on our beautiful Santa Rosa Island. Here we are on beautiful Santa Rosa Sound. I'm accompanied today by NFL football player Jordan Leggett. Hey Jordan, see this shirt? I wear it periodically. Get it? Get it? I have one just like it. Hey, that's cool. I figured you would. I'm a good influence on you in science. Hey, Jordan, you know, look out here, all this H2O, it's very compact and dense. Yeah, definitely compact to a bunch of atoms, just like those players I get hit by. Yeah, the density of water, Jordan, is very interesting. It's, uh, you think it's soft, like a shower or something like that, but it's actually, you give you a belly flop when you jump in a pool, or you can, um, it can float an aircraft carrier. Yeah, I remember when I was back in your class, and I had little mess. He used to push me around at recess. So I think I got an experiment we could try out. Cool, an experiment. Mr. Duff the Science Buff loves that. Um, what's your hypothesis, Jordan? It might get a little wet, but uh, a force is a push or pull. Sorry, Mr. Duff the Science Buff. No, Jordan, no, Jordan, no, no. oh. Density is the property of matter. I got the horses in the bag. Horse stock is attached. Hey, wanna hear a joke? What if the uh, sea takes Satan? Check this out. What did the sea say to the 